Actually, it was, I was 15, I think, 14, when my grandfather gave me the complete works of Shakespeare and said, sit, read, and then we'll talk. And I think that was the first thing that got me involved. Um, and then, of course, you start seeing more and more productions and it's like a bug, you fall in love and that's it. You know, I come from... <clears throat> Palestine doesn't have a big theater tradition um, and it's been a weird long process from being in love with theater as a teen where there is not a lot of theater around you um, to now having my own theater company back home and running a theater company um, and also um, finding myself writing plays which was never planned. Um, but started happening, and I'm very happy it, it is happening. Um, it was a very gradual, long process that I can't, you know, um, I, I wanted to direct um, from a very early age, even without really knowing what it was, really. Um, but the ability to create a fantasy world seemed very, very alluring. Um, and then slowly, slowly, just we st I started working. I had a bunch of talented actors around me. I was lucky enough for them to to give their trust. And then we started doing shows that became international and very successful. And and one thing led to another. Um, we're up in like three years now three or four years ago, I, I did a lot of devised work with my company. Um, and four years ago, in a conversation with David Lan, which is the artistic director of the Young Vic, um, we started talking about a play I was thinking of writing, and he encouraged me to. Um, that was later co-produced with the Young Vic, uh, and came to London. You know, at the end of the day, you can only write yourself. You write your, your manifestations of yourself because you need to be completely attuned to, to the thought processes, I guess, of a character. Um, the Beloved, which is a, the show we're bringing to the bush, um, started as a commission for world stages. Again, after a conversation I had with David Lan two years ago about the sacrifice of the, 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 the Abrahamic myth of the sacrifice and how strange it was that um, this is such an important part of, of the religion and it's such an important part of the way we perceive life, especially in the place where I come from. I think that coming from Palestine means that a lot of things are closer to the surface because of the political situation we were in. Um, so life is more fragile, so, so the textures are more clear sometimes. I think that's... Uh, and then it's just, you know, you start thinking about a subject and suddenly it hap something happens and you start writing. I think, you know, um, of course everything I'm saying is based on my short encounters with Madani, but... Um, and a couple of days we spent together in in Palestine. Um, from my point of view, and I think that's where the, what Madin is talking about and I completely understand is, um, and from my point of view, of course, this being part of World Stages London is a big part of the equation, uh, where it is World Stages in London, different aspects of the world in London. And I think that Madin being a new voice now in British theater, um, is a great opportunity to share this platform, you know. Um, I'm, I, th I feel very honored to be one of the first productions um, in the new Bush, in the Bush under Madani's artistic directorship. Um, and I think that this attitude, which is curious um, to, to all the colors, or to all the stories that 
London has to offer right now because it's becoming more and more an immigrant town um, is a is a f interesting voice is an interesting attitude and interesting um, and for me being a Palestinian coming from a country that has always been a passageway although um, this kind of multi pluralistic attitude is something that I find very interesting to be part of or to have a dialogue about. You know, there's, there's inherent similarities between Shibar Hur and the Bush in a weird way being, um, there's, of course, there's huge differences because we, we work in completely different terrains with different abilities and different possibilities. But being a young place, being a small theater where the building is not sapping all the energy in a way means that the energy is um, directed outwards. And of course, what I'm saying is what I feel from the bush. It might be completely wrong, but um, it's something that I really, um, I really try or hope that Shibar Hur is doing as well in its very different environment. We're nomads, we don't have a house as a theater, but that of course means that we're very open um, outwards because we don't have a bu big building that's, um, that's taking a lot of the energy. Um,